traditional advertising versus social media advertising. The battle of the titans, who wins? So guys, what I wanted to do today is a little bit of a road test, a little bit of a social experiment to look at some of the forms of traditional advertising. Now I'm talking about radio, I'm talking about billboards, I'm talking about, you know, letterbox drops. Now, I've done a video a long time ago about putting things in letterboxes. And the big thing that I found was that if you're doing just newspapers, you're just putting leaflets and things like that, unless you have a direct mail strategy, most of the time it does not work because we pick up a mail, we flip through, we get the ones that are addressed to us. The rest normally go in the bin, the recycling bin. I found that out the hard way because I put it in the normal bin and everyone got all upset, right? It goes in the recycling bin and the rest come inside with you. So it doesn't even make it in the front door. So what are we gonna look at today? We're gonna do a little bit of a social experiment and look at traditional forms of radio and billboards. So what I'm gonna do is Christy, our general manager, she needs to go to the post office. So we're gonna jump in the car and we're gonna have a look at a few things and see how effective radio billboards are, some of the different strategies around that and then I'll talk a little bit about social media as well. So Christy doesn't know that we're doing this, we're just about to go down, we're gonna to go to uh, the post office, we're gonna drop things off, but I'm gonna purposely test a few things. We're gonna go past a couple of billboards, we'll look at the radio, see what happens there. So guys, I'm just gonna grab Christy now, we're gonna head downstairs and uh, we'll head off to the post office and see what happens. All right, Christy, so you're going to the post office, so you get to choose what station you want to listen to. Uh, let's just chuck on some Spotify, maybe some Johnny P for our Friday. Johnny P, coming at you, huh? Why's everybody walking around with a sad face? Turn that frown upside down, man. This life's great. Everybody must have got it all. Alright, Christy. Is there a pop quiz? Yeah. What did you reckon of that billboard back there? Where? What billboard? <laughs> the billboard on the intersection. Uh wasn't looking. Wasn't looking? <laughs> just scrolling the gram? Uh yeah, just replying to yeah. messages. And this this is the my big problem. Now guys, obviously we're, we're filming this, so Christy knew we were filming, but she doesn't necessarily know exactly why. And the big thing for me is that I find if you pay for a billboard, right, or you pay for radio ads, nowadays people are consuming everything on demand, it's when they want it, look at Netflix and all those things. I'd much rather listen to Spotify, podcast, Audible, to consume what I want, rather than listening to the radio and you can't tell who's listening to the radio at what time and you put a radio ad out there you pay four thousand dollars for a radio spot that's not in peak time that you can't tell who exactly the audience is and you can't tell if they've got it turned on if you put a wrong detail in there or you put it out there and you're expecting people to take action you can't control if people are doing that or not you can't control who's there and regardless of if anyone listens or not you got to pay Right, and you compare that to social media advertising like Facebook, where you are paying based on people seeing it. So even if they don't take an action, they're still seeing it and they're still doing something about it. Same with billboards. Now, most passengers, right, most passengers are sitting in the car, they're flipping through their phones. Um, sometimes at traffic lights, I even see drivers doing it as well. They're not paying attention. And again, you're not able to break up how much you pay based on how many drivers go past how many people actually see it like you can with social media and you can be much more specific because on this road is every single person ideal that's on this road that saw that billboard probably not do you can anyone even remember that billboard probably not so the thing that i really find and really grinds my gears is that people are paying for things that they can't measure and they can't ensure that the ideal person's there because not necessarily every time will you immediately get leads and sales but what you'll be able to find out is that your ideal audience consumes your content and information right better than anywhere else nowhere else can have that point of view nowhere else can have that interaction with your ideal audience so for me when you look at traditional versus social media and i know like we had a client today who said they were going to spend hundred and fifty thousand dollars on traditional media it doesn't make sense to me even tv my tv isn't plugged into the wall from the with the antenna point i only have netflix and stan i don't have access to anything else i just don't have it plugged in because i don't need to watch it so for me when we look at 
the difference between traditional and social, I don't even think there's any, like there's no comparison, there's no competition. And look, brand awareness and getting things out there, I kind of understand if you really want to go for a mass market appeal. But most business owners, small business owners, especially in Perth where we are, like it just doesn't make sense for them. So I just wanted to point out and help people understand and identify that if you're a small business, small to medium sized business paying for radio, paying for billboards, paying to get some letterbox drops, please stop. <laughs> Do something better with your money. Like I'm not saying that you need to spend it on social media ads, but at least try and test a little bit for that because otherwise it's literally flushing money down the drain. We just saw, and as I said, like we've obviously set this up so that we can capture this, but that, this is exactly what happens every single day as people are driving around and going down the street. So please, please, please reassess your marketing dollars and at least start allocating some to social media because it's where people are. And that's it, end, end of rant.